Hello, Mr. Karras here, back with another episode of This Day in History. Protesting is perhaps the most American way to fight for your rights. Protesting has always been a large part of American history, and as we saw this summer with the protests speaking out against police violence, it is still an important part of America's story today. On this day in history, February 11th, 1644, 11 enslaved people engaged in the first protest led by Africans in America. Since this was before the Declaration of Independence and the Revolutionary War, the United States didn't actually exist yet. What would become the United States was just land colonized by European nations and privately owned companies. A colony is a group of people who settle in a new place but keep ties to their homeland. The place we will be focusing on today was the New Netherlands, which was in modern day New York. This Dutch colony was home to the Dutch West India Company, which was responsible for bringing many enslaved Africans to what would eventually become the United States. Knowing that slavery is wrong and that they deserved freedom, 11 enslaved Africans petitioned the Council of New Netherlands for their freedom. A petition is a formal request submitted to an authority. The Council of New Netherlands agreed with the African petitioners and ordered them to be freed. The Council stated that they had served the company for 17 or 18 years and they had been long since promised their freedom on the same footing as other free people in New Netherlands. It was actually common at the time for enslaved people of European descent to be able to eventually purchase their freedom. It would be over 200 years before slavery finally became illegal in the United States, but we can learn something very valuable from those 11 people who fought for their right to freedom. Even when the odds are stacked against you, always stand up for what's right. Thanks guys, have a great day.